Hey guys, this is Matt Black with Leisureland RV Center, home of the warranty forever. This week we're going to talk about how to dewinterize your travel trailer. In step number one, you want to make sure that all the low point drains, tank drains, and water heater plugs are reinstalled. These are the low point drains for the fresh water system. Ensure that your gray and black valve are in the fully closed position and that your cap is secured fully in place. Ensure that the water tank drain is fully closed and that the water heater plug is fully installed. Step number two is to fill up the water tank. Make sure you're using a potable water hose and a tank fill. The reason you always want to use a tank filling device is to ensure that there's proper ventilation of the tank and it does not expand the tank while you're filling. In the next step, we need to locate the water pump. This particular unit, you can access the water pump by removing a small panel in the inside of this compartment. Once you remove this panel, you can clearly see the water heater and water pump in this unit. This unit also has an access underneath the bunk bed setup. Just remove this panel and you can easy access to all of the water appliances. Once we've located the water pump, we would like to find the water pump tank bypass valve and turn it in the opposite position of the winterized position. This is that valve in this particular unit. The next step in this process is to locate the water heater and the water heater access panel. The best way to do that is identify where the water heater is on the outside of the unit and then go to the corresponding spot inside the unit. This particular unit has access through a small cubby hole on the outside. All right guys, once we've located the back side of the water heater, what we're looking for is the water heater bypass valves. These valves are usually connected with a water line between the hot and cold side of the hot water heater. What we want to do is turn these valves in the opposite position of what they're at now. The next step in this process is to purge all the antifreeze from the system. I like to start with the hot side first, ensuring that we have no more pink or foam or air. Then I like to do the cold side. You'll notice it'll get pink for a second and then it'll turn clear. When it's completely clear, you have fully flushed that side of the water line. Move forward and do that with all of the sinks throughout the unit. And last but not least, the toilet. Now your RV is fully dewinterized. All right guys, thanks for watching this week's video, tips and tricks. We look forward to seeing you here next week. Come and check us out at Leisureland RV Center for any of your parts and accessory needs. Thank you and have a wonderful week. Leisureland RV Center, your adventure awaits.